and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys the 11 health benefits of ginger. But before we get into the video, make sure to give this video a nice thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss out on my videos. Alright, let's get started. Ginger. So we're going to be talking all about ginger here today. Now, I don't care if it's fresh ginger. I don't care if it's ground up ginger. I don't care if it's powdered. I don't care if it's in a supplement bottle like I have over there. Ginger. So ginger originated in Southeast Asia and it's like a flowering plant. Now it is a spice and it's very healthy and can be very delicious. So if you've ever heard someone talk about ginger root or ginger, I'm going to tell you why. So the rhizome of ginger is typically what's used as the spice and this part is underground, so ginger root. So like I said, you can use it fresh, dried, powdered, they have ginger infused oils, all different kinds of things. They have supplements that you can just ingest, you know, so you can make it with your foods. You can ingest it as a health benefit like that. That's even found in some cosmetics too. But today I'm going to be giving you guys the 11 health benefits that are actually backed by some scientific research. Now, number one is that ginger contains gingerol. Now, gingerol contains a ton of medicinal properties, so very good for your health. So more specifically, it's very powerful when it comes to anti-inflammatory issues and it has antioxidant properties. Number two is that it can treat nausea. Now, nausea comes in all different forms, shapes, sizes, you know, like morning sickness and pregnant women, so this is really going to help if you've ever heard of ginger chips or like the ginger little like candies that people will give pregnant women in the hospital or just at home if they're feeling nauseous. But there's all different types of nausea. So there's morning sickness, like if you're pregnant, there's nausea after chemotherapy, nausea after different surgeries. So all you need is one to one and a half grams of ginger to really help treat that nausea and it actually works. Number three is that ginger can aid in weight loss. Now it can increase the number of calories burned and reduce inflammation. Now these studies were done in both animals and humans. Number four is that it can help with osteoarthritis. So ginger is known to help symptoms of osteoarthritis, especially in your knees. Number five is that it can lower your blood sugar. So this would of course reduce your risk of any heart disease or risk factors and things like that. Now this is gonna be especially for those people with type two diabetes. Number six is that it can help treat chronic indigestion. So ginger speeds up the emptying of your stomach. If you didn't know that, you do now. So this is especially helpful for people who have like stomach discomfort and issues like that or any indigestion. Number seven is that it can reduce menstrual pain. Now I wish I knew this when I was a teenager. Now when you take it and earlier on in the beginning time of your menstrual period, this is known to help. Number eight is that it could help to lower your cholesterol levels. So ginger can lead to reductions in your LDL cholesterol, which is your bad cholesterol, your total cholesterol, and your blood triglycerides. So of course, we know that the foods that we eat have a really, really strong influence on our LDL levels, and if you could incorporate something into your diet to lower those, then why would you not do that? Number nine is that it can help prevent cancer. Now, Hear me out, I know this is always like a wild card. Now there are ingredients or an ingredient found in ginger that can help here. So ginger has been studied as an alternative remedy in you know holistic health and different things like that to help prevent cancer or as a remedy for cancer. So raw ginger has um, a very high amount of that ginger oil that I talked about earlier and that's where there are anti-cancer properties but we just need a little bit more research on this. Number 10, it can improve brain health. Now this is gonna obviously be very important when we're talking about Alzheimer's disease. So there are antioxidants and bioactive compounds that are found in ginger that have been studied and found to reduce inflammation. More importantly, they actually could inhibit the inflammatory responses, specifically the ones that occur in your brain. And oxidative stress, and chronic inflammation can accelerate the aging process for sure. And there is evidence that ginger can help enhance your brain function literally directly. And I don't have 11 fingers, but number 11 is that it can help fight infections. So this is gonna be because of that ginger roll again here with the lowering of the risk of infection. Actually, even ginger extract can help kind of 
inhibit the growth of a lot of bacteria. So it's very helpful against oral bacteria like gingivitis and things like that. And fresh ginger can be really helpful against RSV. Now this is a main cause in respiratory infections. Now, if you're not crazy about ginger, you can take supplements, you can start slow, like a lot of chicken dishes have ginger in them, um, a lot of different teas have ginger, like those candies that I talked about earlier. You can start slow and kind of introduce it into your diet and then see how you feel. But that is all I have for this video today, you guys. I hope you liked it and I hope you learned something new. If you did like it, make sure to give this video a nice thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss out on my videos. And share, share, share this video would really help me a lot. And as always, if you want to get my exclusive nutrition tips, healthy food recommendations, and delicious recipes right to your inbox, then make sure to head over to my description box, click the link, and join the fam. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.